Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is not a review. This is actually part two of the opening for Hand Back the Pack series. And I need to walk something back because I didn't outright goof, but I didn't get out the full information. And it sort of plays as a... Uh, I, I didn't get you the full story. Basically, I referred to manufactured non-menthol cigarettes as having 115 chemicals, except for Marlboro Lights, which had 125. At the time, I did say that the article I was working off of was from the early 2000s. I think it was 2005. I went back and reviewed the article because something didn't strike me as right. And then it started coming back to me, and I realized... The person, the gentleman that wrote the article, which I am not going to link to or anything because it will just add to confusion, he spliced information together. Um, now, he wasn't anti-tobacco or anything, uh, but he did splice information together, and I'm not quite sure how he disseminated. Like The numbers he has are right, but they're not the whole story. Let me put it that way. Okay, so real quickly, what I think he did was he devised the cancer-causing dangerous chemicals into a list, off a larger list. The additives in American-made cigarettes, the additive list in total is 599 additives. Now, a lot of those additives, the cigarette makers will be quick to point out, are... Food additives, FDA approved food additives. And this is true. The problem with that is, is when the FDA was testing these food additives to see if they were approved, they at no point grabbed a Bic lighter and lit them on fire and continued testing, okay? So, you know, sodium glucatate or blah, 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 that you put in pancakes, yeah, it's pretty safe when it's in pancakes. Not so safe when you light it on fire and start inhaling the smoke off it. Anyway, there are 70-some chemicals out of that 599 additives that are cancer-causing agents. That's above and beyond any carcinogens that are found in the tobacco itself. And to tell you the truth, the state of manufactured cigarettes anymore... It's a bit of a stretch even calling that tobacco. The gentleman took a couple lists, added together, and he came up with a list of cancer-causing agents and ones that are known to be harmful in other ways, like arsenic. Yeah, they add arsenic to cigarettes. Small amounts of arsenic, but it's still arsenic. If you smoke cigarettes, you need to stop. And that's what the point of this series is going to be. Something else. Anyway, moving on. Quitting. Quitting everything. Nicotine. Quitting nicotine. That is, in my mind, the only reason for a vape product. You're not going to see any vaping on my channel. I don't think anybody's asked. I'm sure that nobody's asked, but don't ask because it's not going to happen. It's just not. The only legitimate reason for vaping in my mind is if you're quitting nicotine altogether. And some people have to. There are certain heart conditions and whatnot. Uh, usually these people also have to quit caffeine. If that's the case and you have to quit everything, then if you got a vape mod... One of the deals that's it's more than a pen and it has an adjustment where you can adjust up and down the nicotine outflow, I guess you'd call it. Using one of them going from 10 down to zero to cut out nicotine altogether and quit everything, that would be a legitimate reason in my mind to use a vape product. I know a neighbor of mine that actually was successful in doing it. 
and you're probably going to have much better chances doing it that way than using a patch or gum. They just don't have enough nicotine. They don't have enough nicotine, and the, the gaps between their step downs are too big. That said, I will never be doing any vaping here. There are plenty of other channels where you can go and get any vape news you want. I don't see it. it, it it's not what I'm about. It's not very traditional. If you are trying to quit smoking cigarettes and not look like an, you know, Starbucks dwelling fedora wearing asshat, then use snooze. It's even more discreet than carrying around that. And yes, this I, I have a vape pen. See? Does that... I, I'm sure that increases my street cred somewhere. I, I don't want to know where that somewhere is. Uh, this is a uh, VU's Vibe. Uh, R.J. Reynolds gave it to me for a dollar. Uh, I tried it out. I wasn't impressed I, the flavor was really good but i mean you could also get those flavors by going and buying certain packs of trident so i mean i you know i just don't see a point in it except for that one that one thing quitting nicotine altogether then then there is reason for it going on to the next topic real quick underage tobacco use i I'm not going to be catering to underage tobacco users. Nothing against you guys. I, at one time, was underage and used tobacco products myself. But that was a long time ago. It, it was a long time ago. And as I've got, I'm, I'm an adult, basically, now. And I'm not going to be doing any, like, how-tos, like how to dip in class or, you know, because, guys, I got out of secondary school, well, high school, in 1994, okay, I, I'd be lucky to remember what a classroom was like, let alone, and I definitely wasn't dipping back then anyway, so I was smoking, but I was not dipping. Look, I'm not going to tell anybody, oh, I, I, I'd rather you not watch my videos. Kids are going to do what they're going to do, but this is my only actual thought on underage use. If you are under the age of 18, I'm going to deduct that you are most likely living in a parent or parent's house. Okay? My deduction from that is that if you're living in a parent or parent's house, then you are most likely living partially or fully off their dime. That is, you're living under their roof, you're using their water, you're using their heat, you're eating their food. If you're doing all that stuff and they're giving you a hard time about dip or cigarette, well, cigarettes, you need to just stop. You need to just stop that right now and do something else. But, you know, if they're giving you a hard time about dipping, from the grown up perspective, if you're living in their house, you're running their water, running their heat, and eating their food then you need to at least take into account their wishes, okay? You need to at least... Look, if you're doing... If they're doing all that stuff for you at no charge, then you need to at least, you know, think, you know what, I, I got to show some respect here and at least give thought to what they are saying. That's just me. That's grown up old me. All right. So the series will be starting. It will start with snooze. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll still be doing that. I I may even do it tonight. I'm not really sure. I have a standalone product and I have a winter green that I got to do. Um, if you are interested in snooze, then you should check out. Let me see if I got this right. Snooby, snooby.com, which uh, he can be found. I'll, I'll get him on my featured channels. So that's all he does is uh, Swedish snooze. And not to put myself out of a topic, he does it really, really well. Like I've already come to the conclusion that uh, 
doing snooze reviews down the road will be somewhat pointless because you'll see when you see this guy's channel. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope I haven't overly offended anybody. I, I, I'm not trying to. Um, thank you for the new subscribers. Um, and I will be uploading a review in the next 45 minutes or so. Guys, take care of yourselves and God bless.